welcome Ocarina community, as well as all those interested in Ocarina music. I'm Matt Hopwood, and this channel is Ocarina Hype. This video will be the first in a series of videos which are the namesake of this channel, Ocarina Hype. This series will be all about promoting Ocarina music, as well as Ocarina content creators within the community. This month is October, so happy Halloween, but also happy Ocatober. For those of you new to the community, like myself, Ocatober is a time where the global Ocarina community comes together to post on all sorts of different social media Ocarina music, covers, as well as original music. I heard a lot of great music this month. For this video, I've selected my top five recordings that I really enjoyed, although I did enjoy a lot more than just five different videos. So if I missed one of your favorites, put the link in the comments below. This first video comes from probably the most well-known ocarina septet in the U.S., Okabanda. I think the first time I ever heard an ocarina septet was an Okabanda video. I think it was their Princess Mononoke cover. And I was just floored at the sounds that were being produced by that ensemble. You close your eyes and you almost forget that it's seven ocarinas playing. It almost sounds uh, organ-like at times. And that organ-like quality isn't the only type of sound that an ocarina ensemble is capable of. After searching up more ocarina septet videos, I thought to myself, wow, the ocarina septet is really a versatile ensemble that's capable of playing all sorts of different types of music and yet having a really distinct flavor to it that's just so refreshing. Now, I know this song has a reputation for kind of being a meme song, but I really do love this song, and it does bring back some awesome memories. This rendition really is putting me back in those days when I was 12 playing on my next door neighbor's GameCube. Such a great rendition of this that brings back those memories, but has a unique sound all its own. Oh, get it, get it, oh, oh. oh. They really all look like they enjoy this so much. Music is not necessarily a visual art, but when you show your passion for the music through your body language and through how you play, it enhances um, the passion in the music. Get it, basses. Get it. Get it. <laughs> I just love the flair that these musicians put in there. Uh, I could definitely tell there was some kind of extra notes that they threw in there, some ornamentation. And just look look at that smile on David. Check him out, he's a huge Ocarina YouTuber. If you haven't, um, you're either new to the community or you've been living under a rock. Very big name in Ocarina music. Uh, check out all these guys, I'll have them all linked in the description below. They're all great channels. Um, lots of great stuff coming from this group. So again, that was Okabanda. Check them out. Really great ocarina septet. This next video features a member of the Silverwind ocarina septet, but he also has his own channel, Ocarina Owl. He has a lot of great cover music videos as well as some educational ocarina videos. This next song is History Maker, the opening for Yuri on Ice. I haven't seen this anime. I've heard a lot of good things, haven't watched it yet. What do you guys think? Is it, is it is it is it a good one? What I do love about this video is it features how the ocarina really fits into 
different ensemble structures. It's not an instrument that only fits with ocarinas. The ocarina can fit in a wide variety of different ensembles. Yuri on Ice Opening featuring ocarina, cello, run, 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 go, I don't know. Forgive me. Yucca bass and cajon. I love cajon. Such a fun percussion instrument. <laughs> seen that uh legend of zelda ocarina before is that is that custom maybe i have seen that before maybe I've, I, I i haven't seen it too often i only i've only seen it in 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 blue i think i think that's the songbird correct me if i'm wrong maybe it's a different one but anyways very cool ocarina i want it no <laughs> Nicholas, forgive me, I don't know him personally, but uh, he does a great job at showcasing how the ocarina can really fit into different ensemble settings and sound really good. I think what I love most about this video is it's just very apparent how much passion he put into this project. Lots of different shots in different areas, some additional shots that relate back to Yuri on Ice with some ice skating. I, I can really tell that he put a lot of effort into this, but not to make a video that, oh, I need a lot of views on this video, but I could tell he really enjoyed making this video, which fires me to make something like this. I am very new <laughs> to video editing and and, and sound editing, oh, don't even get me started on sound editing. I use BandLab, <laughs> I use the easy stuff. But um, yeah, just seeing how much he enjoys it uh, is really inspiring me to step up my recording game and my video editing game. I wanna make something like this, maybe someday, probably not for a while. <laughs> Returning to uh, Ocarina Ensembles, we've got some members of Shooting Star Ocarina, which is another septet. I think this only features two members playing two parts each in a quartet. This classical piece adapted to ocarina shows how versatile of an instrument the ocarina is. But it's not only just an instrument that you play Legend of Zelda with, although I do love Legend of Zelda music. It's not an instrument that we only play cover music of Legend of Zelda or anime or video game music. The ocarina is an instrument that can play classical music really well, but in a way that's very unique and refreshing. So this is Spinning Song from two members of Shooting Star Ocarina. <laughs> to classical music people like to think oh it's music that's really 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 old well there's a lot of really really old music that isn't played anymore <laughs> so this older music several hundred years old but the music that we still play today is classic because it's music that's still relevant relevant enough that people still pick it up and play it i would extend classical to any sort of music that's timeless, music that doesn't age out. My favorite thing about this video, it shows that the ocarina is capable of playing all sorts of different types of music, even classical music that was originally composed for other instruments. 
it can play it just as well, do that music justice, and play it in a way that is uniquely Ocarina. The next video comes from probably one of my most favorite channels in the Ocarina community, uh, Andy Cormier. You probably saw him earlier in the Okabanda video. Really great content coming from his channel. I'm surprised he doesn't have more subscribers. Go subscribe to his channel. He's great. His video content is really high quality, which surprises me that he doesn't have more subscribers. But anyways, I really like this cover of Megalovania. I know we've heard this song a million bajillion times played by all sorts of different instruments and ensembles, but I just love how much fun that he has with this. He has a lot of fun playing. It's not only entertaining to listen to, but a very entertaining video to watch. I can't tell if his cat in the background is enjoying the music or not, but let's find out if he is. You decide. <laughs> You have a feeling that you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> it's funny how like the blurring effect isn't picking him up when he's all the way at the back of the room. <laughs> he's like teleporting all over the room. It's funny. I like how he doesn't take this one super seriously. <laughs> Andy Cormier is the reason that I bought my Songbird Triple Harmony. That ocarina he's playing on, the Songbird Triple Harmony, I have that one as well. It's my only AC triple, and it's different from other triples in that it has overlapping notes. The first chamber goes up to an E flat, but then the next chamber starts on C, which is also shared on the first chamber. And then the third chamber as well starts on a G, which is the open note on the second chamber. Gives you a lot of different options. Very different from the fingering systems of a typical multi-chambered ocarina, but it has its own unique advantages in that you can use the alternate fingerings to make it a little easier to do certain passages, as well as the overlapping notes help you to do different harmonies. If you check out my Scarborough Fair cover video, I kind of show at the very end of some interesting harmonies that you can get only with the the songbird triple harmony. I, I really do enjoy playing it. And now it's picking up his cat. <laughs> Can't tell if his cat is just vibing out to the music or it's trying to escape the room. <laughs> My pets, it's the same way. I can't tell if they're enjoying my playing or if they're in absolute torture. I hope they're not in absolute torture. I'd like to think that where I play that they're laying down in a corner because they're vibing to my music. <laughs> The real reason I actually like this video. Get it. This video made my top five, not only because of the really good playing, but also just, he looks like he's having so much fun in this video. Just a really fun video. I mean, although I've heard Megalovania a million times, it was still really entertaining to watch. So again, I cannot recommend enough. Subscribe to Andy Cormier. He makes really high quality videos and he deserves way more subscribers. So the first four videos were all covers of already existing songs. This next video is an original composition by Jordan Moore for Ocarina Septet and Piano. And let me tell you, it is a banger. It is so much fun. And as the title suggests, Nightmare, it definitely fits the season. It is uh, a very spooky song, but very, very, very cool, well-written piece. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> that uh, line with the lower ocarina is the dig it, dig it, dig it, definitely Batman '90s cartoon vibes. That dig it. <laughs> Either that from Final Fantasy VII, the Genova theme, the dig it, dig it, maybe some inspiration. I don't know, but very cool effect. I love it. I love how he's using uh, the piano to kind of drive the song forward after that cadenza. <laughs> Flutter tonguing, very creative, love it. I'm loving the pitch bends. It sounds like a sound that, you know, a specter or a ghost would make. So cool, very creative uh, compositional techniques being used in this. He's a multi-instrumentalist, plays a lot of different instruments. So he's definitely bringing that experience from other instruments, other ensembles into ocarina music. And I love it. <laughs> So the ocarina normally is an instrument that um, is not capable of a wide dynamic range, meaning that you have to blow a certain pressure, otherwise the pitch goes over or under. Um, he's using very strategic adding in more ocarinas, more instruments, and taking them away to create a louder dynamic and then a softer dynamic. Louder volume, softer volume. So very cool stuff here. Oh, love that chord. Some major chords to relieve some tension. I definitely want at least one of these ocarinas. I believe they're Johann Rotter's ocarinas. They look really beautiful and they sound beautiful. I'm just really interested in getting one. I, okay, I, I just want all the ocarinas, okay? I only have four, but I, I want more. I have a problem. <laughs> but yes, I'm definitely looking to add this. At least one, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, maybe I want all of them. I want all of them. I want all the ocarinas. But a very beautiful instrument. <laughs> song just came out just a little over a week ago i'd never heard anything like that very cool stuff very cool that it kind of fits the mood and theme of halloween very very spooky song but <laughs> but really musical and very engaging a lot of very interesting use of ones that are very unique to the ocarina very very cool compositional techniques such an interesting piece i hope jordan decides to compose more for the ocarina i know bad joke <laughs> but seriously i hope he composes more music for the ocarina definitely subscribe and keep annoying him and keep commenting and messaging him until he produces more music please don't do that i'm just kidding if there's anything that the ocarina needs it's more original music so those of you composers out there i challenge you compose some music for ocarina what really helps an instrument to grow is having a repertoire of unique music that showcases the unique traits and sounds on that instrument Although I do love ocarina covers of popular music and transcriptions of classical music, I believe that original music will bring in those who are new to music and are looking at ocarina as their first instrument, as well as more serious musicians coming from other instruments. So those are my top five videos. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see some more music from the community, please hit that like button, subscribe button, Turn on your notifications and tune in next time for our next episode of Ocarina Hype.